Hi, and welcome to I Nightingale. My name is Phil, and today I'm going to talk about my one arm journal. We're up to day 23, and it's just a progress of my injury over the last month, pretty much. Um, today was a great day. I managed to see the surgeon, so I saw him immediately after the operation that night, and then I saw him the next morning, and so this is the third time I've seen him. So. I've had a good, you know, 22 days of rehab before I've come back to see him. So I've got a lot of questions, and it's also good to see what how he thinks my progress is and what we can do. Um, first of all, before you go in, um, I'll just grab my chart. Before you go in, because it is so hard to actually see the surgeon, you know, you know, on my next visit after this is six weeks, so. Questions build up over time. So I've got a little notebook here. Excuse the handwriting. Um, I do write like a chook, but anyway. Um, what it is good for is keeping a list of questions that I want to ask him, because you have a very brief time to see, see them, because they are very busy. They see a lot of people all at once. So, and it gives you a clear, clear in your mind the things that are affecting you and what do you want resolved or what do you want to know that needs to happen? So I'll just read off a couple of my questions. Uh, firstly, I wanted to know how long I was going to be in a splint for. So that was my first question. So, oh, excuse me, door decided to open up. Um, firstly, I can actually take off my splint now. So he said I can come out of my splint so woohoo, I'm free. So the splint is only now for high risk activity. What does that mean? That means if I'm going to drink any alcohol, that may maybe increase my risk of falling. Um, if I'm going to do any anything strenuous, uh, especially with the kids, like muck around with them and stuff, maybe put it on then. Um, or if I'm going to be like trying to put the kids in the car, I'll put it on because my hand actually goes back quite a fair bit and you can feel it stretch. So he said I can take the splint off because what he wants me to do is a problem that you can have is I wouldn't be able to extend it very far back. So if you leave it in a splint for too long, you do stiffen up and it does get harder to move, so you've got to do a lot more exercises. So fortunately, um, I can go back quite quite all right and uh, what I've been told by the hand therapist was only go back till you can feel it stretch so that's really good so I do that and then I hold it for three seconds and then put my hand straight so I've got to work on that so what the doctor said is guide be guided by how much pain and stretch you have as you think as your limiting thing um, one thing with losing the splint uh, I know I've only had it on for three weeks, but it feels like a security blanket at the moment. It's like, oh, I was a bit nervous about taking it off because I haven't been able to do that. And every time I did it, stretched a lot and hurt. So I was like, oh, I'm a bit nervous about that. So um, slowly, you've just got to try and overcome it. Just take it off, see how you go, and be guided by what's happening in the arm. So that was good for me. The other thing I told him is um, my wound is still open a little bit. So when they took it down, it's still a little bit open. Um, and he explained to me why, because I still have a lot of swelling there and a lot of pressure. So the ends don't meet up properly. And the way that they've joined up is like, it's like a bit of an earthquake, you know, where the two plates meet and go over the top. So that's what they've done. So he wants it strapped up. So I'll take down the dressing a bit there. So it's still taped up. So that's providing support to keep it together. And what that will do is help the ends, because the ends are still apart a little bit, help them join together, and they'll knit together over time. So for the next six weeks, he wants me to have that on, which is great. Um, other questions was, uh, when, when can I go back to work? Because that's always a big question. So I can go back, um, it's about uh, six to eight weeks, he said. It will depend on how your arm feels and how much movement you can get through it. So between six to eight weeks. And, and that led me on to saying, well, 
I like to do some exercise and it's been really hard not to. So I like to do some push-ups in the morning. And he said, um, go by feel. So feel means how much stretch I'm getting in, in there. And if it's too painful, don't do it. But it will take some time. It will take a few weeks for that to slowly come good. So probably won't be able to do push-ups just yet. Um, well, right now. Sorry, that's way too early. But like, you know... You know, another three or four weeks, I can probably start giving it a go and putting some more pressure through the arm. But at the moment, there's no pressure at all. I'm just going to do gentle wrist movements. I'm not to put my hand on a wall against the wall and push it. I use my hand to push it down. It's just purely what it can do itself. Because if I did put pressure on it, I could rupture the graft. Other things was. Um, what are the long-term effects of doing, doing a, lacerating my artery? Now, luckily for me, um, there probably won't be that many, maybe just a bit of blood flow, but that's about all, really. So um, I've been very lucky. Like, if I did nerve damage, um, that would be a different ball game. So I would have to watch out for that. So I was very excited about that. So I have lost a splint. I've still got to keep a tubey grip on because there is swelling there. So he said there is swelling. So keep this on for six weeks. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. The wife come home a bit early. Um, so just to finish up quickly. Um, so I can keep my arm out the splint. I still have to keep it elevated at night because there is swelling there. So I need to keep all that draining down. And then... Um, I don't even need to splint at night, which is awesome as well. So I've just got to watch out for my high-risk activities, um, which is mainly just playing with the kids, and then do my exercises, get the wrist back every hour. I still have to do all my finger exercises to keep it all going well. So that's it. So it's really good. So good improvements. Um, I don't have to see the surgeon for another six weeks, and he's quite happy with the way things are going. And I have another hand therapy session because um, we're coming into Christmas, so I've got a bit of a break. So I don't see one for two weeks. So I'll just keep pressing on with the way I'm going. Thanks for watching Nurse on the Go videos. My name's Phil, and I'm here to help you care. Take care for now. Bye-bye.